In this video, I am telling you how to fix your acne fast with three affordable products that you must have from the drugstore. I am the budget dermatologist, Dr. Marin Locke. I give you advice for real skin to help you solve your skin problems without breaking the bank. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more videos just like this one. So I was at the drugstore today to get some footage of exactly what I recommend for my patients in my exam room. And now here I am on YouTube to tell you the same thing so that there will be no confusion for your acne after this video. But this is not medical advice. It's just entertaining and educational to teach you how this dermatologist shops for the best of the best affordable acne products. Let's go. Product number one, Adapalene. This is a type of retinoid that is available over the counter in the US. It is extremely effective for mild to moderate acne. So this is going to unplug the comedones, which are known as whiteheads and blackheads on the skin. It is also going to prevent new acne lesions or acne bumps from forming. And this is going to decrease that inflammation of acne that causes your redness and discomfort on the skin. And that is why Adapalene is my absolute number one pick above all others for your acne treatment. Now here are a few tips so that you can have success when adding Adapalene into your skincare routine. First, use this in your nighttime skincare routine. Second, start slow, okay? Two to three times per week, do not overdo it at first. Let your skin have time to adjust. Number three, just use a pea-sized amount for the entire face. Do not use it as a spot treatment, but also do not use too much of it, just one pea-sized amount for the face. Three, always, always moisturize with this. You can start with the sandwich method where you put moisturizer on first, then your Adapalene, then moisturizer, and then eventually you can move to just one layer of moisturizer on top once you tolerate the retinoid. You can use this treatment up to nightly if you can tolerate that, but you can still absolutely get benefit if you are only able to use this just a few times per week. And the very best part about this ingredient is that it is very affordable and it is an actual medication with proven results to clear acne. You can see the active ingredient on the back of the label. Now, which Adapalene product is best? My advice is to buy the most affordable one you can find because chances are, if you turn it around and look at the ingredients label, the drugstore generic version, different La Roche-Posay, Acne Free, all of those brands that make an Adapalene only product pretty much have the exact same ingredients. So look at the quantity of the tube, look at the price per ounce or however it's measured, and choose one that best fits your budget. They should all work the same if it is a true Adapalene product with the active ingredient listed on the label. I will link some Adapalene options in the description of this video. Your number two must have acne treatment is salicylic acid. So this is my absolute number one go-to for topical acid when it comes to treating acne. Salicylic acid is a BHA or a beta hydroxy acid, which means that it is oil soluble. So it specifically gets absorbed down into the oil gland or the pore where it breaks up that acne causing debris and it will unclog your pore. Now this is far more effective than any other type of skincare acid. And I also love that salicylic acid is considered a treatment for acne. It is not just a cosmetic to beautify the skin. So that means that you can actually find the percentage of this ingredient in a product so that you know you are getting a maximum strength product that is proven to work. Oh, and salicylic acid, is anti-inflammatory, which goes hand in hand with acne treatment. Now you can find this in various drinks up to 2% over the counter. You can also find this in products like cleansers, toners, and other various leave-on products. I personally like and recommend simple formulations of a leave-on salicylic acid to treat acne. I like to go from maximum strength 2%, but there are some very reasonable options with a little bit less than that, and that will work too, especially if you have sensitive skin. That does not clear up your acne, then you can go up in strength up to 2%. So if you find that you have irritable or sensitive skin, go down in strength or opt for a cleanser like this one with 2% salicylic acid. This is fragrance-free and has a really simple formula. You can find a lot of great salicylic acid treatments for acne right at the drugstore. Some of my favorite cleansers, for example, are by La Roche-Posay, the Epiclar Medicated Gel Cleanser. 
I love the newer one by CeraVe, the Acne Control Cleanser. You can also use this as a leave-on toner. Neutrogena makes a good option, but it does have fragrance, which is not my top choice. If you wanna go beyond the drugstore, you can always shop at Paula's Choice for their BHA liquid exfoliant. It is a long time holy grail that feels so nice on the skin, so I will link that one below too. So I recommend that you incorporate salicylic acid into your morning acne skincare routine so your adapalene will be at night and your leave-on salicylic acid product will be in the morning. Do not layer these at the same time on your face. You really do want to separate them between the night and the day or alternate them at night, but don't layer. Your number three drugstore must-have for acne treatment is, this one may throw you off a little bit, it's sulfur. So this is the best kept secret. People really don't talk about this ingredient enough, but it actually treats so many skin conditions like acne, which is what we're talking about today. It can treat seborrheic dermatitis, perioral dermatitis, rosacea, and other skin conditions. It is just really so, so helpful. Sulfur works by reducing the oil on the skin and killing the acne causing bacteria on the skin without leading to antibiotic resistance because it's not an antibiotic. Notice how none of the three recommended products of mine in this video are antibiotics. I really don't love antibiotics as your first line treatment for acne or as a long-term solution. So let's try to clear your acne without antibiotics and then save that if needed as the next step. Now back to sulfur, this is going to dry out the pores on your skin and help unclog them. It works exceptionally well when it is paired with the other two acne ingredients that I mentioned, adapalene and salicylic acid. And it actually also works well in combination with benzoyl peroxide, which is another popular anti-acne ingredient. And did you know that sulfur is also considered a topical drug? So you can also find this listed in the actual percentage that is in the product um, on the ingredients label when you turn the product over and look at the active ingredients label section. You can get this in strengths up to 10% over the counter. You can find this in a cleanser or a bar of sulfur soap. You can find it as a spot treatment by Vichy. That is a great drugstore brand that makes a really great sulfur spot treatment. I believe the brand Sunday Riley makes one as well. And you can get this as my personal favorite option as a mask that I recommend you use on nights where you take a break from your adapalene. So that means you should be doing this maybe once or twice a week. Now the brand Acne Free makes my absolute favorite budget pick, Sulfur Mask. You can also find this in a bit of a higher price point from brands like Peter Thomas Roth. They make a 10% sulfur and clay option that works very well. I will link that one below as well. But remember, you really don't have to overspend. You can start with the budget option and if it doesn't work, then you can increase from there. So those three recommendations are really going to help clear your mild to moderate acne but severe acne will more than likely not clear with topicals alone, although they can be part of your complete treatment routine. And additionally, severe acne often will require drastic lifestyle changes, as well as potential treatment beyond just topicals. So take a deep breath. I know that shopping for acne at the drugstore can be so overwhelming, but this video hopefully has simplified things just a little bit, Break it down so that you are looking for those three ingredients that I recommend, adapalene, salicylic acid, and sulfur. And then you can choose quality products for each of those ingredients and start them slowly into your skincare routine. And remember, acne takes a while to start to resolve. It can take up to eight weeks or more in some cases. So be consistent and be patient. What acne questions do you guys have? Drop them in the comments. Come say hi on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. See you guys soon, bye.